in our classroom we have a sand table and we have all kinds of different toys that the kids can play with uh, in there. So we set up sort of a mobile. We built this thing out of pipes and we hung like paper towel tubes off and funnels and all kinds of different things for them to pour the sand in from different heights. So just to use it in different ways than they usually do. And it's basically about getting them to explore the material in, in different ways, you know, to sort of see how gravity works on it and, you know, how, how the sand moves in different ways. The nature of being a kid is they're figuring out how the world around them works. With something like this, creating an environment for them to explore. They're manipulating objects and materials and seeing what happens if I pour the sand in the funnel. How does it, how does it come out? It's really open-ended exploration. We sort of encourage them to explore as much as they can. We say things like, what do you think will happen if? In our room, we have a lot of different things for them to build. They have Play-Doh that they use in, in certain ways, and they have blocks, and they have everything that, that they do is basically about exploring and seeing how, how they can use what's around them. Okay. By giving them that space and those tools to use with it, they're getting to manipulate the sand and, and explore that like the same way they build with blocks. It's not a huge range of ages. They're two and three years old, so it's a range of about a year. But there is really a, a big range developmentally uh, of their skills, their strength, and their interests. All of the activities are really open-ended. Any child can come and do this activity in a way that's, that's right for them. We encourage them to collaborate. It really depends on the moment, on the child, how they're feeling. That activity gives them the opportunity to work together on it and learn from what each other is doing. There are limitations some of them have. So with this contraption, there's uh, some things that are up high. So if there's a tube that one of the smaller kids can't reach, then they can ask one of their taller friends to help them reach it. And then they're, they're working on it together. So that activity is really pretty good for creativity. There's no particular objective. You don't get something out of it that you can take home. So it's really just about exploring. They naturally are going to do whatever they're interested in. Some of the kids go right to it and, and know exactly what they want to do, and some of them need a little more encouragement. But it's fundamentally a creative kind of activity. It's an experiment that doesn't have a concrete goal. And it's about like building confidence in their, in their ability to, to try new things and, and learn new things which is, you know, is something that, that, that they're going to need and is useful as they go on.